Hi, it's Casey Burrard from CaseyBerrard.com and it's Mindful Monday. I'm, I'm so excited to be talking about this topic, mostly because it actually catches me off guard all the time. It's staying in your own business. And it's so funny. With clients, it's so easy to recognize when someone is out of their business because they're suffering. With ourselves, it's much harder. But the biggest clue is that you're feeling like crap. You're suffering in some way. You've got a headache. Your shoulders are rising up to your ears. Um, you're feeling nauseous. You're irritable. You're overwhelmed. All of these are signs. You're, here's more. You're injury prone. You're getting sick. You're tired. You're grumpy. You want everyone else to suffer. These are all signs that you have gotten out of your business. So just to recap, because this is my whole shtick, stop suffering and love your life. The first core principle is to stay in your own business. Whose business are you in? Well, there's only three types. Thanks, Byron Katie. Three types of business. It's so simple. There's your business, there's my business or their business, and there's the universe's business or whatever energy you think is causing hurricanes and the snow to fall and the earth to stay in its orbit. Thank goodness we don't have to worry about that business, huh? On top of, you know, getting kids to school and eating well and exercising and making love to our partners and having a successful career and changing the world. <laughs> Thank gosh we don't have to worry about the earth staying in its orbit. Okay, so I'm going to back it up because I was seeing my creativity business movement forward in life coach and I... I was suffering, suffering, suffering. And it was so funny because I love it when my words come back to, you know, kick me in the butt to move forward. I had been ending a relationship and logically I knew that, you know, we weren't on the same page. We weren't walking on the same path. We were starting to, you know, hold hands, but our fingers were like drifting apart because we both had different ideas about what a relationship was and where it should go and what you could create with it. And, and that creates a misalignment. It throws you out of the moment, right? So that's my second core principle, which is mindfulness, staying in the now. And then it doesn't only throw me out of the moment, but it throws me out of my third core principle, which is my focus. Where am I going? What am I doing? What do I want from life? Right? And if my focus if I'm pulled off course by getting into another person's business or their focus or their now, and it's not meshing, it doesn't complement each other. You know, it would be like, I'm trying to think of like a really gross food combination, but someone's going to like it, I'm sure. Uh, you know, for me, it would be like peanut butter and pickles. A pregnant woman might love that, you know, like someone who really likes sweet and salty and fatty might really love that but for other people it's not a great mix so it's it's important to know what your mix is and what feels good for you okay so backing it up again to the present moment I had gotten out of my business and the moment I got back in it was like whew, this horrible headache I'd had the whole session I've been sitting there for an hour because I hadn't realized that I'd gotten out of my business that in order to stop suffering and love my life, I had to reconnect with myself. Just keep coming back. You're awesome. You're valuable. Your wants, your focus, your now and where you want to go with that and what you want to create is so important. And as someone who has coached lots of people over the past 17 plus years, let me tell you that what you don't know is that when you really get into alignment with yourself, into your focus, into what's on your plate, into your present moment, into your business, whatever you want to call it, then you allow the other person to do the same thing. And that allows each person to be happy and healthy and thriving. There might be a grief period. There might be a transitionary period. But the long and the short of it is, is that each of you is going to be happier if you stay in your own business, you stay mindful in the present moment now, and if you stay focused on what your goals, hopes, dreams, aspirations are as you move forward. And it, 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 it can be as simple as that, as long as you're not, you know, telling stories, ruminating, getting lost in the messiness of not being your business. Can you feel how my energy even goes 
it dips because I'm going into the past with regret or I'm going into the future with worry. They suck, 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 suck. Ugh. So I'm not going to do it. I'm not even going to do it for you on this video for very long because I don't want to get into suffering. I don't want to get into what could have been, what should have been, what we could have done differently. I just want to get into that really focused sense of what I want to do now, where I want to go, what's exciting me, what's making me feel alive. And then, yay, the universe will line me up with someone who is interested in that. And that is exciting. So I hope you enjoyed my little tidbit on staying in your own business and relationships and how it works. It lines up. It's not as hard as it looks if you have that clearness of your focus and your mindfulness and knowing what your business is. Uh, if you find this hard, hire me as a coach. Uh, find another coach who's willing to help you do it. You know, that's, that's where getting that perspective is really helpful. If you liked the video, if it helped you, share it. You know, it could help other people. I'd love to see you at CaseyBerard.com where we can connect a little further. And I hope you enjoy your Mindful Monday. Take care.